My name is uh, Zena Lynch and I'm the uh, Programme Director for the MSc in Environmental Health and the MSc in Public and Environmental Health Science. The MSc in Environmental Health is designed for students who would like to become an Environmental Health Officer in the EU or the UK. Um, it covers topics such as food safety, occupational health and safety, housing based issues and public health uh, issues. The, the MSc in, in Public and Environmental Health Science is designed for international students. It's largely the same as the MSc in Environmental Health. The only difference is that the students study something called chemical and biological incident management, which looks at issues such as oil spills and the, effect, the environmental impact and effect of that type of issue on the environment. Um, and there's also slightly less uh, UK legislation in the uh, MSc Public and Environmental Health Science. But both uh, of the courses are designed for students that are interested in going into vocations around environment and public health into the future. The entry requirements for both the MSc in Environmental Health and the MSc in Public and Environmental Health Science are a 2-2 in a science-based subject or a geography-based subject. For international students, we also look at a minimum of 6.0 on the IELTS score. Um, we, we are looking for very motivated students to come onto the course and those that have a real passion for the environment. Both the MSc in Environmental Health and the uh, MSc in Public and Environmental Health Science are accredited by the Chartered Institute of Environmental Health and on completion of the courses the students are able to apply for graduate membership of the Chartered Institute of Environmental Health. Um, the courses are based on health prevention, that, that is the fundamental basis of the courses. So we're looking at um, issues around food safety, so the recent crisis around horse meat uh, getting into the food chain, that sort of issue we look at, and things like food and nutrition, we look at on the food safety module. Um, on the uh, housing module, we're looking at things like housing and health, um, and the effect of housing, for instance, on more vulnerable uh, communities. Uh, for occupational health and safety, we're, we're looking at workplace health and safety and um, in, in some cases students go on actually to become specialists in these particular fields. So what, what we're training you up on these courses is giving you a basic understanding across a broad realm of environmental health functions. The courses are um, largely taught the teaching on the courses can be up to four days a week and there's also self-led study on the courses. One of the unique selling factors of our course is that we have very close connections with professionals in the field and so we have a lot of people from outside who are actually working within the field of environmental health and public and environmental health science who come in to speak to our students and what that does is um, bring uh, alive the, the course in terms of having real life case studies for students to look at and um, it, it, it's, it's also um, the, the teachers on the course are also uh, experienced in the field and they can bring their experience to, to bear on the course as well. The teaching staff on the course are all qualified environmental health professionals and they have years of experience that they also bring into the classroom. The MSc in, in Public and Environmental Health Science and the MSc in Environmental Health uh, train people up to be, to, uh, towards various careers including a career as an environmental health officer uh, usually working in local government in the UK or working for a consultancy or for a private business. We have students that have gone on to work for, for large-scale companies such as Asda and Tesco's on the food side and for um, other uh, large-scale companies on occupational health and safety. Um, we also have students that go into non-governmental organisations. One of our international students this year became the lead on action on hunger for Kenya, so we're, we're, we were delighted about that. Um, also, students go into uh, careers around disaster management and we have a student who leads on disaster management in Brazil as well. Um, some students also um, go towards the Army and Navy for careers and there are careers in that area as well as um, careers within government and non-governmental organisations. The University of Birmingham is the only Russell Group University that offers these courses. Um, students from our courses are very successful. 100% of our UK students last year um, 
either got placements or jobs and our international students went on to do all sorts of varying and interesting careers. Some of our students also have gone on to do PhDs uh, in a specialist area uh, of, you know, specialist subject based on an interest area that they've picked up from the course. Um, the University of Op uh, Birmingham also offers fantastic facilities. We've got really good lab facilities, computer facilities. Our courses also take students out on site, so there's um, um, a, a good opportunity to do some field work as well. So what's my favourite thing about teaching at the University of Birmingham? I'm very passionate about the environment and public and environmental health um, and I want to be part of a process that helps with community developments and improving communities' health and well-being. The students that I teach on this course are extremely motivated and hard-working and we um, have fantastic debates in class about these subjects. Um, I also um, am so pleased that the students are so successful in terms of their careers and I like to think that I've been a small part of that process.